Hey guys, and welcome to your fourth Premiere Pro tuto tutorial. And I've had a lot of requests on this one. And it seems to be when people think of video editing, they think of like speeding up and slowing down clips. And that's exactly what I'm going to show you. Okay? So there's two main ways you can speed up and slow down. So the first way is if you select your clip. So I'm just going to select this area and let me let me cut a section out. So let me uh, cut from there to there. Okay? Now drag this over. And if you don't know what I'm doing here, go ahead and go back through the playlist and watch the uh, second tutorial no maybe first one of those tutorials and it showed you how to cut and stuff so we have this clip here and we have it selected so the first thing to do to speed it up or slow it down you can go to clip and speed duration okay so that, and it gives you this little dialog box and so it's at 100% right now regular speed if you if you want it to go uh, faster, it's going to be less time. So it'll only so if I do 50, it'll only take 50% of the time. So watch, what if you can see the uh, duration down here? So if I put 100, it's one minute three seconds or three milliseconds. If I put 50, it's only uh no okay I'm sorry. So, and then if I put 200, it's 30 seconds. I had it backwards myself there. Alright, so that's that's one way you can do it. Another way you can do it is if you go into the Rate Stretch tool, or press the X key, you can go ahead and stretch the duration. So it doesn't cut out or any parts of your clip. It just speeds it up or slows it down, depending on how you do it. Alright, and let me show you another useful thing. So, if you if you watch any live commentaries, maybe of games or something, where you have a gameplay on the video feed, and the audio is just them talking over it, okay, that's how this works. So, what they do is, you can see, these tracks are connected, right? So, they probably don't want the game sounds. So, you can go ahead and unlink the tracks. So, if you right click on the track and click, uh, well, maybe unlink right here. So, if you click unlink, and then you can see you can move the audio out. And I can delete that, and then I can bring in my own audio down here, bring it out and stretch it. and do whatever with it. And I guess that's it for this tutorial, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.